football flops. Today, guys, we're looking at football flops. Basically, the hot prospects, you wonder kids, however you want to say it, the ones that were dubbed to be some of the best upcoming talent, and then they didn't really do anything. But not only that, we're going to be having a look at every single card they had if they were on the game at that time. So ranging from FIFA 10 all the way up to FIFA 16. So it's going to be interesting to see maybe when they were dubbed to be really, really good players, and then they just dipped off. So I've got some other ideas as well to be producing videos like this. So if you want to see it, drop a like. If we can push for over 250, that'd be fantastic. And if you're needing ultimate team coins, head over to FIFAultimateteamcoins.com. Links will be found just below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself that discount. Or if you are wishing to purchase games or game codes, head over to G2A and also use the code Fuji. So you guys must remember Danielson. Yeah. Where, where is he gone? Well, he basically joined Arsenal for, if I'm not mistaken, five years. And Arsene Wenger came out to say that he was going to be someone like, uh, well, a mix between Gilberto Silva and also Riziki. Uh, yeah, he wasn't. He was pretty bad. Well, it wasn't too bad. He was just didn't really live up to expectation. And he just dipped uh, at Arsenal. And then he moved over to the Brazilian League to play for Sao Paulo. And then he's lost. I've never seen him ever since. But as we can see with his FIFA cards, his best one was FIFA 11 and it's not bad like he's got decent passing his dribbling could have been slightly better but it's a shame really because he looked to be very very good and for at least a year he was sort of one of the best young upcoming talents but never really did anything so it's a shame so I remember using this next guy way back on FIFA 10 and we have Sebastian Fry what a keeper to be honest and look at his FIFA 10 card oh my 89 overall 68 speed incredible and he was actually playing at Parma in 2002 won the Coppa Italia then he was actually loaned out to Fiorentina and then made the move official and he was actually in line to becoming the national keeper for France but then Lloris beat him to the spot and then ever since then he just sort of just went downhill like his form he just couldn't really uh, regroup what he had when he was playing at Parma but look at these cards like even FIFA 11 wasn't too bad and then FIFA 12 yeah actually he got a little bit of an upgrade on uh, 13 but ever since then he just seemed to dip off he was off the game as well for, for a bit and as you can see, FIFA 15, 78 rated. Not cool. Heartbreaker time, and we have Bojan. I feel so sorry for this guy because he was actually incredible. It's just a shame where his career has sort of gone. I'm not hating on Stoke City, but that's the last place I would have thought Bojan would have ended up. But the problem with it is that he was trying to break into a Barcelona team with the likes of Ronaldinho back then. They had David Villa, also Eto, and then Messi was coming through as well in the exact same time as Bojan so it was very very difficult and maybe his career would have ended up differently if he went to another club a smaller club where he would have got a lot of game time but he was really good and on FIFA as well I actually quite liked his card um, this year I haven't tried him too much but definitely back in the day when he had a little bit more pace I was using him in that center forward position but it's just a shame because Bojan he was good can we send out a search party for Andre Ashavin does anyone remember the little Russian he wasn't too bad either and in 2008 he had a really good Euro tournament and then with that like a host of clubs were interested in signing the guy and then he actually settled for Arsenal and ever since he really joined Arsenal he just kept dipping in form and there was one season actually I remember this like yesterday Arsene Wenger would just kept faith and, and just played him and he was terrible he wasn't doing anything he was lazy and then he actually came out to say that he didn't really want to play football anymore so then he went back to the Russian League and look at his cards man like on FIFA 10 80 86 rated with those stats amazing I know FIFA 10 ratings and just overall stats were a little bit over the top but you wouldn't say no to that card even the winger on FIFA 11 that version there and as we can see on FIFA 16 he is now a 75 rated winger so he has to be a flop like there was so much potential in him but he just didn't have the desire to play so yeah He's a flop. The not so emperor. Do you guys remember Adriano? He was looking really promising. He had a good finish, actually. And then a lot of people were dubbing him to be just a fantastic striker for not only his club, but also country. And he featured a few times for Brazil. But a few antics off the pitch and just overall performances really did let him down. And he actually received awards for being the worst player in the Serie A. And not just once as well. But on FIFA, he was a damn right animal. On FIFA 10 and 11, I remember using 
chosen him because of his long free kicks like he would take an insane run up he had good power shots and he was amazing like look on fever 10 85 shot a very very nice card but I'm, I'm sorry Adriano but you're a flop we have a skiller in the lineup and it is Quaresma and he was always compared to Ronaldo and that was sort of his downfall as well it's never good to be in the shadows of the beast CR7 but Quaresma he was never really successful at the big clubs and he never really made an impact so without a doubt like he, he is a flop he didn't hit his potential but his cards actually on FIFA 10 and 11 weren't too bad then he was lost he uh, he made a move to clubs that weren't on the game and then with uh, with his FIFA 15 and 16 card he's playing actually all right for Porto and also Besiktas so yeah overall he is kind of a flop but he's still an all right player so I think he saved himself a little bit but still he didn't hit his potential I'll save the best till last Makeda what happened why why did this even happen in the first place this is pretty funny and I feel bad because I support Italy and to see an Italian flop it's not it's not that great but this wasn't even his fault well it kind of is his fault because he didn't perform but the media and everybody the fans just jumped on top of this guy I remember him making an appearance he came on as a sub and scored a really nice goal like finesse top corner and I think he was actually subbed on again so he scored two goals overall and then automatically everybody was saying this guy is the next big thing and everyone sort of jumped on the bandwagon and he wasn't even that good so yeah he actually came out recently in the press to say like Rashford keep your head don't let what happened to me happen to you but I think Rashford is just a completely different player and Makeda just didn't take what it had and he couldn't really bring anything to the table but his cars like on FIFA 10 11 I remember using him and he was a really really good finish uh, finisher his finesse shots were awesome and then from FIFA 10 13 14 just dipped off and as we can see on FIFA 16 he has a 70 rated card but guys that is the end of today's video of my hot prospect pl uh, flops I was gonna say plops hot prospect flops let me know in the comment section if you've got any ideas uh, how I can sort of maybe integrate this type of video on uh, on other ideas so yeah let me know in the comment section fire away but i have a few others that i'm wanting to do as well so if you have enjoyed drop a like and i'll definitely be producing more content like this so thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon see you out Woo.